Newsletter, Al Morid USA. December 2024. Arabic translation of Mizan. Recently, the Gandhi Center of Islamic Learning, USA, initiated the translation of Javed Ahmed Gandhi's works into Arabic to introduce his thoughts to the Arab world. This project began with the translation of his books Al-Islam and Makamat into Arabic. Recently, the renowned scholar and researcher Ghatrif Shababaz Nadwi completed the Arabic translation of Javed Ahmed Gandhi's book Mizan. The Arabic edition of Mizan is now in the final stages of preparation and will soon be available for Arabic readers. Book Stall at Sharjah International Book Fair Last month, the Gandhi Center participated in the Sharjah International Book Fair and set up a book stall. A large number of visitors came to the stall and purchased books. During the closing ceremony of the fair, Hamza Ali Abbasi spoke on literature, faith, and self-awareness. Hamza Ali Abbasi's Book Launch In November 2024, the Pakistan Association Dubai hosted Hamza Ali Abbasi at an event where his book, My Discovery of God, Islam and Judgment Day, published under the auspices of the Gandhi Center, was launched. The event took place at the Nayaz Muslim Library, where Abbasi presented a copy of his book to the library as a contribution to its valuable collection. Hadith, Explanation of Quran and Sunnah or an Edition In his recent article Hadith, Explanation of Quran and Sunnah or an Edition, Sayyid Manzur O.L. Hassan, explained Javed Ahmed Gandhi's perspective on Hadith. After defining the sources of religion and the concept of Sunnah, he writes that Hadith elaborates on both beliefs and actions. However, this elaboration is based on the beliefs and actions already mentioned in the Quran and established in the Sunnah. The legal rulings found in Hadith are not new laws but clarifications, interpretations, and practical demonstrations of the laws found in the Quran and Sunnah. Therefore, the rulings of the Quran and Sunnah are part of the religion, and the explanations and practical examples provided in Hadith are also part of the religion. This article can be read in the November 2024 issue of Ishraq America. The Prophet's Message In The Prophet's Message, Muhammad Hassan Elias discusses the scope of prophetic messages and their universal impact, while responding to the claim that all prophets were sent exclusively to their nations, and thus the message of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was also limited to the Arabs. He argues, with Quranic evidence, that the teachings and messages of the prophets are, by nature, free from the constraints of time and place, embodying a universal message and eternal truth for all humanity. Consequently, the mission of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Quran's message is for all of humankind. This article can also be read in the November 2024 issue of Ishraq America. Gandhi Center's Online Konka Under the Gandhi Center's initiative, Maz Amjad conducts weekly online sessions focusing on self-purification. These sessions explore various aspects of self-reform and address questions from participants. Topics discussed last month included Faith and Righteous Deeds Encouraging Reflection on One's Faith True Faith Inspires Correct Action Understanding Motivations The Difference Between Faith and Superstitions Recordings of these sessions are available on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel. Islam Study Circle in November 2024, Dr. Shahzad Salim addressed the following topics in the Islam Study Circle program. The Rope of Allah. Compassion. Respect for Parents. Additionally, a discussion was held on the theme of my role model, and questions related to the topics were answered. The recording is available on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel. Tafim Al-Athar Series. In the Tafim Al-Athar series, programs last month focused on the fear and reverence experienced by the companions during Quranic recitation. 
Other key topics included, encouraging the learning of the Quran and its correct understanding, and, qualifying for the Quran's intercession on the Day of Judgment. Recordings are available on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel. Teaching of al bayan in English Last month, Dr. Shahzad Salim delivered lectures on Javed Ahmed Gamdi's al bayan covering Surah Al Imran, verses 180-200, and Surah Al-Nisa, verses 1-22. Recordings of these lectures can be found on the Gamdi Center's YouTube channel. The Prophet's Case in Divine Court In his article The Prophet's Case in Divine Court, Zakwan Nadwi highlights the misfortune of those who neglect the Quran and ignore its teachings. He writes that on the Day of Judgment, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, will testify against those who abandon the Quran and present their case before Allah. He warns that the activities we prioritize over the Book of Allah today will not serve as a defense against the Prophet's testimony. This article can be read in the November 2024 issue of Ishraq America. Principles and Fundamentals Dr. Shahzad Salim records monthly English lectures on various topics from Mizan. In November 2024, he recorded two lectures on Principles and Fundamentals as part of the Mizan Lecture Series. These recordings are available on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel. Issuance of Fatwas Based on Religious Opinions the Gandhi Center often receives queries about legal applications of Sharia, such as marriage, divorce, inheritance, and other social and economic issues. Last month, four fatwas were issued based on the principles of Javed Ahmed Gandhi's thought, prepared by Muhammad Hassan Elias. Private Online Consultation Sessions Every month, Dr. Shahzad Salim conducts online private consultation sessions to address personal and family issues. Over 30 sessions were held last month, where participants sought guidance on parental challenges and teenage issues. Elmo Hikmat with Javed Ahmed Gamdi In November 2024, the weekly program Elmo Hikmat with Gamdi aired three episodes discussing the ranks and qualities of scholars. Viewers' questions were also addressed, such as Is it appropriate for a teacher to aspire to become a researcher? What is necessary to become a preacher of Islam? Is it essential to abandon worldly comforts to become a preacher? Recordings are available on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel. Ask Dr. Shahzad Salim this is a live monthly question and answer session where Dr. Shahzad Salim answers questions on various religious, moral, and social topics. Participants can ask questions in both Urdu and English. Recorded lectures on various topics. In November 2024, Dr. Shahzad Salim recorded lectures on topics such as the forgotten lessons of the Quran and humanity. These lectures are available on the Gandhi Center's YouTube channel.